Hello, welcome back. This is another episode of GM Facepalm. Today, I am looking to recruit a player for our group. Currently, uh, my online group formed almost two years ago and uh, still going strong. We lost a few people here and there, uh, those particularly right at the beginning. We had six or seven join up, uh, then we had a crazy lady, and then one other guy left due to uh, uh, moving out of state and getting a new job, so some, some uh, scheduling issues there. So we currently have three people for Jade Regent, uh, the Adventure Path with Paizo, Pathfinder. Uh, about to hit up the sixth book. The characters are at 14th level right now. Uh, this would be a good opportunity to get in on that. Um, get a feel for it, see if you're comfortable with our group, if you enjoy the uh, play style, which doesn't adhere to a particular one. Uh, just very relaxed. Um, but I will work with people um, if they need any kind of uh, role play into I try to uh, adapt to all play play styles. So, if you're interested, uh, let me know, and uh, I have that going every week, uh, every Saturday from uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it usually concludes around 12 or 1 a.m. So, if you're interested, please let me know would love to have you. Uh, I am looking for someone who is committed uh, to running or at least participate in the game every week. Uh, Jade Region has taken us almost two years to get to this point here and that is playing every week so uh, the emphasis, the focus is commitment. Uh, I want people who actually want to play and I currently have that within my uh, group. So, just to talk a little bit about that, uh, book six, uh, that should conclude in about two or three months time from now, uh, playing every week on Saturdays. Once that is finished, you have the, you know, you get a feel for how we are, whether you like it, and with the ultimate decision if you want to uh, commit as we delve into the next adventure path which is chosen by the players, a voting pool, and uh, everyone would then uh, commit to that for a year and a half or so, I would, I would guess, to uh, complete the ne uh, next one, whether it's going to be Iron Gods, Mummy's Mash, Shattered Star, um, unless there's a majority voting for a different AP for Pathfinder. So, let me know. Currently, uh, the requirements for joining uh, the Jade Regent group. Our current party composition features a human fighter, Asmar Cleric, and a Dwarven Mage. So we have a vacant spot available. Requirements 14th level, 25 point buy, two traits, and all Pathfinder material is allowed and most third-party publisher content as well, including Psionics. Yes, I'm speaking of Ultimate Psionics from Dreamscard Press. Uh, also, as a alternate requirement, uh, if you want, uh, there is a huge array of NPCs in the background uh, of the Jade Region group. Uh, they've been used multiple times for side quests. Uh, when I've run different modules that features only the NPCs. Uh, so if you want, you can choose to uh, play one of the NPCs as a PC if you would rather not uh, create one from scratch and go with one more uh, storyline based or more integrated uh, with the uh, group. Uh, for that, I would just say, um, 
I can go over the roster with you and you can create a class that fits that character's theme. That is also an option. Uh, what do we play on? Well, if you're familiar with my channel and if you checked out uh, Goblin Bait's um, online game set game sessions that he's posted, uh, you'll see that uh, we play on a virtual tabletop using map tools and Ventrilo to communicate with each other. So, once again, the Adventure Path played every Saturday from 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to about 12 or 1 a.m. Yet, uh, there's also a possibility that you could play in Wrath of the Righteous as well. Um, I also run the Mythic AP, Wrath of the Righteous. I run that every second Saturday of the month. I currently have four players for that, unlike with Jade Regent where there's only three. But with Wrath, there's four. We are midway through book one. Uh, the current party composition or makeup, we have a Human Paladin, Tiefling Cleric, Dwarven Cavalier, and Human Witch. The requirements for play, uh, third level, 20 point buy, two traits, and one of those has to be a campaign trait. Uh, all Pathfinder material is allowed and most third-party publisher content. Uh, I wouldn't suggest going with Psyonix only because um, this is a Mythic AP and they do not currently have Mythic Psyonix at this moment. Although there are some being play tested now and that should probably be available maybe next year or so. So unfortunately Psyonix for Mythic style play won't be av available. Um, but just to give you little insight into this. I fully create all the macros for all the monster tokens used with map tool. Uh, I run the interactive map. There's a lot of features with light and shadow, objects, spell effect templates, so you can really get immersive with the tabletop as though you are actually around a group of players at a local game. There's a strong sense or, or, or feel of that. Um, there's no immediate skill needed or required for map tools. Uh, it's free, easy to learn, easy to teach, uh, and you can choose how much you want to pr participate on that, whether you want to have uh, macros created to where you click a button and it auto-calculates uh, your role, or if you'd rather type those in. Uh, as I said before, there's no strict play style. I incorporate all types of styles and accommodate those that prefer a particular RP integration. Uh, heavy rules knowledge of the Pathfinder role-playing game is not necessary. Uh, we have moderate or strong uh, knowledge with the rules and we will only uh, teach and learn, even to ourselves, uh, without any sort of rules law uh, lawyering. So pretty much we're a fun, laid-back group. We don't always take we don't always take ourselves seriously, but we definitely get serious about our gaming and we have a good time doing it. Uh, so if you want to get more of a better perspective on our game style, uh, be sure to check out my playlist for gaming sessions. Otherwise, you can check out Goblin Bait on YouTube. Uh, he has our all our Wrath of the Righteous sessions mostly. Host or mostly they've been uploaded. There's a few that have not been uploaded yet, but uh, you can get a quite a few in there to view. I think there's about six or seven episodes on there, so you can check that out if you if you feel like it. So yes, this video, this this episode, is just to uh, recruit, <sighs> recruit, recruit. I need one player, one player who can commit themselves one day a week. If you feel like you need a game, uh, you've been in need of one, and it's been hard to come by, does Saturday sound right to you? Uh, please let me know. And uh, feel free to comment on this, or uh, if you want, you can... Uh, Get an email from me if you require private messaging. You can do that as well. Uh, so I look forward to hearing from you. 
if there's any interested uh, members who would like to petition for um, a spot to play. Thanks, and I'll talk to you soon.